Dispose of this annoyance at once. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Little Player for you for Dong and Rampa 2 Goodbye Despair. So, after a lovely party Byakia threw that obviously fucking went horribly wrong, we're here. Mm. What are you doing? Weren't you gonna use the bathroom? Damn it. Son of a bitch. Fucking brother, I hear ya. Someone's using the bathroom since before the party even started? <laughs> Go to the storage room, there's a dirty laundry hamper back there. Hold it in. Come on, you can do it. Even so, that's a long time to be in the bathroom. Who's in there? If they've been there since the since before the party started, it can't be Byakia. It's not opening. It seems someone is in there. Oh, there you fucking are. You piece of shit. Uh, I've been found. Yeah, you have. Uh. Huh. I think you mentioned it. Wasn't Pekka supposed to be in this room? Man, what happened to Blood Sea? Let me open my drink here. Is this desk? Is this the desk the staff used for busy work? Looks like it's dusty. Better if I don't touch it. That's a circuit breaker. Why is it all the way up there? How's no one supposed to reach it? I believe I forgot to check the entrance. Pretty sure Chalky was there. Um. I haven't looked yet. I'll go check. Shaki and Usami, because I'm not going to be hollering Monami, are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Oh. Hey, Chaki, did you happen to see Byakia pass by here? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building, and Byakia vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. No. Hey. Well, I talked to Chiaki. She said he didn't go outside. D that's. Weird. 
Hey. Huh? <laughs> well done. <laughs> Truly outrageous. Smell something. Well. <laughs> we ain't talking about farts, girl. Yes. She is like. It's not like that. She is like fucking manufactured trying to be just fucking like they're trying to make her as most like oh I need to protect her as much as possible blood damn you got a fucking bloodhound nose Zakane's nose twitched like a beast's she suddenly pointed a table at the very back of the dining hall oh yeah there it comes the smell of blood what in the world is at that table? Probably some blood. <laughs> Under the table? I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out toward the tablecloth. And then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Dead body! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. For the rest of my life, I'll never forget what I saw. The worst character dead. <laughs> what I saw. I saw the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. Already dead and beyond recognition. Yes. So he had a knife taped and hidden underneath the fucking table. And his fucking night vision goggles. I stood there. Horrified as showers of screams rang out behind me. As I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Don't put words in my mouth, game. Why? Why just shit my pants? Hey, 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 hey! Are you kidding me? on fucking episode four now murder Could it be? <laughs> that's right what of course <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <sighs> lies. It's all lies. He lied that he was murdered. Murdered. The moment I screamed that word. 
a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled up within my body. That's it. Which means that I've accepted the fact that Biakia was murdered. Because he was fucking terrible. Phew. What are you gonna do? A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed. The class trial will begin! Yes. Class trial? Hey, I can't wait. I'm um... oh, sorry about that weird little death metal scream I did. I'm just really excited. It was so fucking good. You're, you're telling us to figure out who the killer is? It's probably gonna be an extra long episode as I just get ready because I want to. I, want, I, I need this. I need this. <laughs> That's. Yes, 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 yes! It's already started! Oh, I'm so excited! So happy! <laughs> you can't! And I love this fucking dynamic between these two. I Sami was a really great addition for this game. On my grandfather's... On my grandfather's... Emergency! This is kind of depressing. Now let's just start with the fucking investigation, dog. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. And hey, what is that, like, Dragon Punch back and low kick? Oh. Fine, fine. Is that her own blood or... Biakia's blood. Was she punched into Biakia? Does she even have blood? Don't worry. I fucking will. Oh, God. So excited. And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. But not me. I'm fucking shaking with anticipation. Hey, can I borrow your camera? I need to take some crime scene photos. What's going on? Um. Understand? She ain't grief stricken at all. now but yeah. don't worry we'll get there I won't forgive you shut up 
Shut up! Oh man, don't be don't be like that to her. Do we really have to do it? But no. However, Nagato, you fucking Makoto. Did you do it? There's no mistake. You're trying so hard to be Makoto, I can't help but feel like you did it. It's hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm gonna survive this, then I have to fight it. Coward. What the heck? What happened? Man. Is, is that what that means? Hey. I feel like Akne should stay with her. That's fucking beast mode lady, right? Investigation time. but it's necessary. I won't believe. I won't believe. <laughs> I'll see him tomorrow. Oh, wait, he's gone. He must have left the island. <laughs> you are right. She goes fucking crazy seeing everybody who's dead. Find out who the killer is. That's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. Yes! Ta -da! Fuck, God damn it! Oh, right, that. I forgot. I'm an idiot. I forgot that I forgot that was a thing. I thought Well, what the hell is a monokuma file? Like Your bones? Why you? Okay, I was gonna say. Come on, Brooke, it's funny. Hey, hey. 
That's right, you tell him, Asami. What's this? She's adorable. They're finally gone. Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look over. I should look it over just in case. Oh, dip! This is interesting. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death was 11:30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. So, Yakia really is dead. Damn it. You promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? Well, because you promised that. And now, I'll never know what you were going to say to me. I don't want him to think about me being skinny. Oh god, let myself go so terribly. I don't have the order just to find a suit in my size. Well, the horses have all that money, but still. In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be? Could it be a traitor? A traitor? No way. Just because he said a lot of serious things, it doesn't mean he was the traitor. What am I thinking? Okay, we'll follow one's bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right. I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Yes. First, the box. Now, this is the metal case Biaki had with him. I believe he said it was made of duraluminum. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but... There are a lot of odd things inside this case, like nightstick and pepper spray. Hmm? What's this? A hard plastic case. But it's just the case. The insides are empty. I wonder what was inside of it. The one thing that really catches my attention is this small key. It must be the key to the other dur aluminum case. The letter case was in the office, and all of that, and all the collected dangerous items were inside of it. <coughs> the key to that dur aluminum case is right here. Then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Biakia was taken from the other case, which means. The weapons inside the Dirt Aluminum case aren't related to Biakia's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Biakia have this Dirt Aluminum case in the first place? A case packed with all the security equipment. Maybe he was being extra cautious, just in case? No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful? Dirt Aluminum case, but I had the bullet section. Alright, and then from there, the body. Under this very table, Yakio was... First, I should investigate the top of the table. The only thing on top of the table that really catches my eye is... 
this desk lamp. It looks like an antique lamp, and it seems rather heavy. The power cord is connected to the outlet, so it would have been useful during the blackout. Useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... Now's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. Let out a shout as if to encourage myself, and quickly looked beneath the table. Immediately, I notice an unexplainable smell, like rusted iron hanging in the air. That's blurred. And during the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shift my gaze toward Byakuya's body. Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. But he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. Hmm. What's this? It looks like binoculars, but... I think there a pair of binoculars under the table. Hey. What are you, an idiot? Eh? And what are they? Oh, you are an idiot. Okay. Perhaps. Night vision goggles. If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Biakia during the blackout? That's not their Biakias. Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Bloody knife. Is this the weapon that kill is this the weapon that killed Byakia? Hold on. How did the killer bring up this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya, thir Byakuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that dirt aluminum case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case. Or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to it, applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Knife. Bodies collapsed face down under the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looks like he was. According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and the abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so terrible? Blood flung from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool under, under the table. A lot. That's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there don't seem to be any drag marks leading to from the pool of blood.
Um, pretty sure I've investigated what's on. Pretty much investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Byakuya's death. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was obvious. Well, now that you mention it. Absolutely right. Wait, what type of the blackout happen actually? There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Heard something. Are, are you talking about her? Oh, Sami. Let's talk to everybody. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? Look here, have a banana. That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. That's fine, a dish covered it up. They made me remember it again. Fucking thanks. Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? If you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. Sorry. Well, if you excuse me, fep, 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 fep. <laughs> how, the, how the fuck is that a truth bullet? My hero, are you alright? Hasn't been determined yet. This is the worst. Man, you guys get attached really easily. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if you don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. You have to do it to protect all of us. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Jeez. Got it. No promises, and I run away. Yeah, that's fine. I got it.
clue? Hey. Oh, I can't wait. You gotta see the fucking pictures. Oh yeah, the pictures. Hmm. Yes, please. See them shits. Really? Please. Um. Hmm. Back you off in the corner. Huh? Something wrong? You're right. That's pretty far. There's something. Everyone standing in position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position from this photo? Could. I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. Thank you. You better do your best. Bitch, I have been doing so much shit. Do you understand? I'm working on it. Yeah, I know, but it's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now that now than when she was feeling down. Impossible. Hey, are you still looking for the earring that you dropped? Oh, this certainly is random. Pomeranian. Alrighty. Waiting for the drop on that. Was that really about a friggin' Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now, we need to investigate. I won't let you! Maybe it fell underneath the floor? Carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor. And peered beneath the floorboards. I can see it! <laughs> I see. Good for you. Let me ask.
then maybe you should just give up. What? I meant give up the earring. What? Why am I being scolded? Fine. Ah, you fuck. He wants the earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. But it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. You know, about our dead quote-unquote friend. Gaps in the floorboards have been added to the truth bullet section. A remote controlled air conditioner. Hmm. Air conditioner? Could it be? The air conditioner, this air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. And the air conditioner is remote control. The timer set to 11.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Ryaki's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means... The mechanical sound before the blackout. It probably came from, the air, from this air conditioner. Yay! My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. Alrighty. Now then, where else should I investigate? Hajime. Hmm, what is it? Hey. Well, if we've been told one of us is a killer. Can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> well, yeah, but... Fine. If we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. Thanks. The truck drives by outside. Special feelings, huh? Even so. What do you said about us being similar? I don't think I agree. Now then. Yeah, you're right. Oh, hi. I see, I see. Yes. Well, okay then. Well, if there's no reason, there's no meaning. I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, are you talking about her when you said maybe you heard something? I see. If you're hearing it so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout.
Anyway, can you tell us what you heard? I got it. Yep. What? Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? Aww. That's right, it was my hero. It's a black owl. Oh wait, that was. Well, next was Kazuichi. Next, the uh, next next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah, fuck. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Just continue. Alrighties. <laughs> I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? What Byakuya said. What do you mean? Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. You sure? Ouch, why are you really biting me? Yeah, let's check the bathroom. Still locked. Huh, it's locked. I knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Wait, that case was here before. Circuit breaker, huh? Might be related to the blackout. That must be the this old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. See. 
Circuit breaker is also pretty high up. Even if you use a stepladder, you wouldn't reach it. someone as small as you reset the breaker. I won't be fooled. It's true. Yeah, actually, I really do. Yes, show me. Give me the night terrors. So cool. I see. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If yeah, they didn't trip it or set it to be tripped. It's a duraluminum case. It should contain all the dangerous items Byakia collected. Hey. But it's locked. Yep. Hey, is it okay to take the cat that key without permission? From who? Now now. <laughs> this guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. I guess you're right about that. Yeah, also just take a quick little break from investigation. We'll be right back, everybody. And we're back, so. Water, the desk. Is that his business work? Catch my eye. Let's talk. Maybe. <laughs> what do you think that? I mean. It's not like you look any better. Burn. And Pekko. <laughs> eh, seems a bit obvious. Huh? Anyway. Hmm. 
Wait. I see. Me and Fuhika went to fuck. Pekka suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? What the heck? Hey. Poop in the lobby. Huh? So she got food poisoning. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pekka wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? So maybe it was Teru Teru who did it. Hmm? What does that mean? Is that really what it is? There's remote controls for the office air conditioner. Huh? The time here is set to 11.30. Wasn't the number for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? So they set it to. Now then. So they set the, so they set both their conditioners for the same time, and then that tripped the breaker. We should get going. Let's bounce out of here, and then we'll go check the kitchen. Um. Yes. What is it? It is strange, no? Perhaps. Hmm. You never seen one before? To be fair, I've never seen it before. That's only done to keep caps from getting in. I am ashamed. Hey, it's cool. Fire door. That's an added to the full section of your handbook. Well, let's check out the kitchen. Hey, you were in the kitchen during the blackout, Terror Terror. Were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Terror Terror? Uh. Use that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Huh. I see. But I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to light it, use it as a light source or something, but. 
I guess it's not that easy. Chinese Japanese because me in the bone too. <laughs> well, guess that's about it. I get it, but you don't have to repeat your I get it, you don't have to repeat yourself. But it's so big. Where did you get it? Snap his fucking neck? His bare hands? <laughs> I don't want to get punched by those hands. Talking about goddamn food. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's a fucking drag strip out my side of my goddamn house. He's scary when he's mad. Party dishes. And equipment list. Yagi must have confiscated all the dangerous items on the kitchen's equipment list. Side. And how did the killer get past Byakuya's body check? That's weird. If that's the case, they probably put the knife in in advance and hit it with somewhere. Hey. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. It's pretty much physical. Okay, so let's get going. You're right. Neat vision giggles. It's way. You saw them. The storage room is really dusty and dark. Like Canadian flag back there? You can ask cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for long, for a long time. Hmm. Are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on this ironing board? Turned on. Yep.
sinister. So somebody turned on three irons and both air conditioners at the same time. Yeah, they were trying to trip. They were, they were trying to purposefully trip this thing. But there's an awful lot of boxes. I guess I should leave them alone. Yep. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps. <coughs> oh, a tablecloth. Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Is this a blood stain? Huh? Come here, take a closer look. But. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? Seriously, it is a blood stain. Hajime. Hmm? Ah, I got it. You're right. Nice clean tablecloth, something I haven't used yet. There's nothing strange about that. Well. Monitor. Yep. Yakia's cottage. Yep. Yes, yeah, that's fair enough, I guess. Also, really weird seeing you in front of yourself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. All right. He sounds, this voice actor, he sounds like he's from like another country, like the way he says, all right. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. The morning I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder, I think. So I thought it was important to check it. Oh. Oh. What do you mean? I know. I might know what you mean. See? Hey. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that would be terrible. That would be that would be a fucking terrible way to go. Just go in and get your own knife and then just stab, stab, stab. Then 
Is it possible that the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floorboard? Well, but you can't run there from the bathroom, probably. You think there's a possibility that there's a hidden holes that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Are you sure? Relief. Why? Oh, right. Fihiko. He did. Oh, for you, Hiko, you fucking Sundari bitch. Hmm. So that happened, but why did he come here? See? It's not like he likes us or anything, Babaka. I mean, I have, but I don't know if Kajimi has. Huh? When do we start talking about video games? I see. Okay. I'm glad. I keep saying you're glad, but you have, n but we have no idea who the killer is. even half of my power yet. But you can't get through a wooden lattice. It seems he has no intention of investigating. Well. Let's right here now. Let me check. Just. I know we have things going on, but still, I... Yo, Fuyuhiko, what's up, you fuck? Well, too fucking bad for investigating a murder. That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? What did you say? That's not why I'm... Whatever. Just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Huh? 
<laughs> Just in there masturbating. The whole time? Because Chucky said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! Jeez. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Oh, okay, Sweetums. All right, I got it. Hm. So then, beer cures cabin. The fuck one is his? Oh. Next to mine. Huh? It's locked. Hey. And so, Nagato took a deep breath. Hey! Did you call me? What's up, dog? Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? Hey. What's this? What? <laughs> what is happening? I don't have time for this. Just hurry up, just hurry up and open Biaki's cat cottage already. Ah. Well. Does it open with a magic spell? Jeez. God, if, if you're the fucking murderer. I, I see. I guess we should go inside then. You're right. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter someone sent to Biakia? That's weird. Hajime. Yes, I should check what's inside it. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Huh? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. This is... This is... The crime warning. Regardless, who would send something like this? Well, oh, the murderer. Hey. Uh? So, he believed this crazy letter? What? Hey. He couldn't overlook that slim possibility. Just to keep his promise? 
then why did they keep it a secret? If you just told us. Nope. What do you mean? So, Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself, without telling anyone? Yep. Anyway. Whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe one of us could be the killer. But still, we've come all the way here, and it's the only thing I could think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakia. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakia would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakia. He killed him right before our eyes, in that old building. Damn it. Who the hell would do that? Hey. Probably. <laughs> right, yeah, we gotta go talk to her. Fuck. I forgot about that. Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. Huh? I, I see. I understand. Hey. Bye now. Mm. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. Now's not the time to worry about Nagito. There's much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. Sami! What's good? Oh, sweetums. Oh yeah, might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Hey, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. What the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, now's not the time to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why the old building's windows are covered by iron plates? See the renovation. So that's why they cover them up. <laughs> just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what, damn it! Get fuck! 
What the? What the hell was that loud voice just now? Hmm? The bathroom seems to be open. I don't really need to go right now. There's really no need for me to go inside. Fucking investigate, dog! Oh, I got to poop. Okay. Losing to who? That sounds cool and all, but... What are we even talking about? <laughs> what? Now that you mention it, you said something like that uh, shortly after the party started. Jeez. says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by the whole ordeal. Oh well, best not get into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut before was shut from before the party started to after the blackout? So what I mean is What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. Oh fuck, god damn it. I am sorry everybody, but there's... For some reason this recording session I'm just fucking... Blah. Did you find out anything? Hey, are you okay? No need to push yourself. I mostly get the gist of it. What you wanted to say. Sorry. Fuck. Damn it. Damn you words. Still, around five millimeters in diameter, huh? Around five millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? It's about as thin as an ice picker and all. Or a skewer. Bitch, I was investigating. I wasn't wandering. I was investigating as much as I could. <laughs> so, did you find anything? Hmm. You don't sound too sure. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So, sorry, um, so one, two, 
Just like I thought, Yaki was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Huh? What's this line extending from the table where Byakuya was killed? The power cord for the desk lamp? If the cord is extending from the table where Byakuya was killed, that means... Hmm. It's not clear to me yet, but... Hmm. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. Extremely important clue. Alrighty, guys! It's finally time! That's right! It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Whoa! Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! Mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face at the center of the island. Those guys in a place called Monokuma Rock, I have a feeling there was a rocky mountainish place over there. It's not the park, just somewhere around here. There it is. Monokuma Rock. Huh? Are you kidding me? Never mind that. How do they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? I don't know, drills and shit. You mean what Byaki said before, right? You are right.
you. Do you understand? Wait! Um... What happened, sinner? Now then, let us begin! <laughs> Guys, hearing back, yay! Huh? Hey. <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well now. Yes, let's. Secret entrance. What's going on? Secret entrance. What the? Something's shaking. A dip. <laughs> what? Which one's that? Skippy. You're right. There's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Hmm. Yep. Maybe when you play, I am playing on normal. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was stare upwardly and upward intensely at the escalator car as the escalator carries me. Ah, fuck. And when each of us entered Monokuma Rock, Let us say enter using the elevator. However, you're right. I heard an unnerving chattering inside sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. There we were, listening to the unpleasant roars. 
as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending. And then, the elevator door slowly opened. Welcome! Ta-da! Mm, yeah, that's that good shit. We're in it! Are you... Yes. Yes. Looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. This is Monokuma ordered. We all walk toward the seats we've been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Byakia. Ultimate affluent progeny, Byakia, Togami. Wow. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. The person who did it is one of us? I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true, we need to find out by any means possible. Because that's our only option. There's, there's, there's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. And we will call it there for this episode. Thank you all for joining me. Next time, fucking class trial is getting going. Oh, I'm so hyped. Anyway, until then, I'm dead. See you guys next time. Excuse me while I whip this out. Woo!